I'm Amy Mahaffey, the Communications Director for the City of Nacogdoches, and I'm here today to begin sharing with you the first of many informative sessions to help us answer quick questions from citizens. So welcome to the very first episode of Cues from You. We constantly get questions from citizens here at City Hall, and our theory is if one person has the thought to ask a question about your community, then there are probably many others wondering as well. These videos will be released each week to help you become more informed and involved with the city of Nacogdoches. This week's question, what the heck is payday lending and why should I care? If you follow the efforts made by your local elected officials, you may have heard about recent conversations among city council members and city staff regarding payday lending services. Payday loans are marketed as short-term solutions for emergency use. And while in some cases this can be true and helpful to some, those taking out loans often spend more than they need for the initial loan in fees and have trouble keeping up with the payments due to high annual percentage rates, unaffordable payments, and unreasonable loan durations. What begins as an emergency solution for many can quickly become a burdensome loan that is hard to keep up with in an ever-increasing and unpredictable world. Across the nation, cities just like Nacogdoches, as well as state and federal legislators, are discussing how to help regulate payday lending to ensure lending practices are reasonable and fair. Payday loans have three main problems. They fail to work as advertised, they have excessively high prices, and they have unaffordable payments that must be paid back in full all at once. What can appear to be a two-week loan can easily become much longer since the loan does have to be paid back at once. And oftentimes, a borrower situation doesn't change from week to week, and it becomes easier to continue with the loan process and the associated fees rather than pay back the loan at one time. For example, in some cases, an initial loan might have been $500, and the fee to extend the payment on the loan is $50. So I, as a borrower, might not have a full payment to pay off the next week of $500, but I do have $50 to extend its duration. This is a trap that our locals here in Nacogdoches get into all the time, and it can be difficult to get out of. Our goal as the city of Nacogdoches, as well as many others, is to have loans that work better and are widely accessible. Borrowers should still be able to receive loans, but have an easy way to pay the loan back in smaller payments with more time to repay in order to ensure solid financial ground for our citizens. Therefore, we encourage you to join your voice with ours and contact your late local, state, and federal legislators to encourage their support for state level and federal level regulations to achieve this goal. Without this important step, we cannot feasibly regulate these predatory practices at the local level. Therefore, we need you to call or write your elected officials to help encourage new policies to help us help you. People are always asking us how they can get involved with Nacogdoches, and this is truly a way to make a difference for those who might not have a voice themselves. Thank you for watching this first episode of Cues from You. I can't wait to hear more of your questions, as we really do want you to be informed as citizens of Nacogdoches. We live and work here every day just like you, and we want you to know that we care about your questions, and we want to help. So send us your questions on Facebook, call us at City Hall, come by a city council meeting, or tweet us. Heck, send us a carrier pigeon, I don't care. We just want to hear from you. 